and mo most of my successful pieces happened very rapidly. Um, some pieces I, I put away and it was a bad day emotionally or uh, just didn't work right. and uh, then I'll put it away and, and come back to it. And so some pieces are years in the making and some are an hour or two hours in the making. So. So is, does that tell you something about yourself whenever you're actually doing it? Yes, absolutely. Um, um, I'm re it's, it's really of how I can get to that most pure state of being in the total moment and not analyzing what I'm doing. That for me is, is how um, I've been successful in creating my work. My work is not about the, the um, you know, putting a lot of thought, you know, mental left brain thought. It's all about the creativity and happening spontane spontaneously and, and having it um, put together in, in its own creation. It's, I mean, it happens. So what would you, what, for those who are watching, how would you describe your pure thought? Like if somebody says, I want to get to my pure thought, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Blank, quiet. And what do you do beforehand to prepare yourself for that? Um, you know, literally get into a meditation uh, and really uh, have the intent of being quiet and um, having the intent that the, the, the wax become its own form and have it uh, steer me, uh, and maybe I steer it, but it, it's a co-creative process together, we, we work together. Yeah. And so do you supplement your art with another job? Are you able to survive solely on your art? Um, uh, luckily, uh, my husband and I own the Inn on the River Walk, and um, so it is a, a cr another creative avenue for us. We, work, uh, we have clients from all over the world come visit us, um, and um, so that is kind of an avenue for, for me to display my work. I have my own gallery here and we sponsor a lot of other organizations in the San Antonio area to come and um, we've had movie screenings and uh, we have the first Friday events here so it's a really a wonderful avenue for, for me to give back in, in the world of art. And how long have you been doing art? I have been doing art, uh, you know, an artist is really born an artist, um, um, but when I was nine years old I was kind of recognized, I guess, as an artist, and a friend of my father's said, oh, she's an artist, and my father said, oh, great, he's <laughs> an engineer. <laughs> great. <laughs> and uh, but luckily my father was very encouraging, and I got to go to college, and Quench College of the Arts is a very small, uh, uh, intimate art college in Seattle and a very small community, but I did my BFA program there. And, um, and so I'm just, it, it's a constant thing. It doesn't ever, you don't go away from it. It's, it's who you are. Now, do you kind of believe what Monique was saying about when something you know, kind of comes up inside, that's, how, that's kind of a way to express yourself? Do you feel the same way, even if you're in a meditative state, in a peace state, doing your kind of art? Well, absolutely, because then it's a tool to, you know, and I choose to use it as a meditative uh, methodology. So, so um, the art is a, an avenue to, to, to create myself in that, you know, to put that intent of just blanking everything out, all, all the stresses. And, um, and sometimes, you know, you can't. You know, sometimes your left brain is very intense and, and it takes over and it doesn't want to, to, to stop you from, from being in the negative. But mm -hmm. it's a space where I can put that intent there and, and be peaceful and joyful. And, and my work, you can tell what mess, you know, where I was in that moment and, and see what comes through. And you, know, you can tell a lot about an artist and their emotional state from their work. Um, yeah. So give us an example how you could tell if somebody's looking at a piece of art. Absolutely. Um, well, even Van Gogh, you can see uh, his sunflowers. He was an extremely emotional, intent artist. And um, you can see that from his brushstrokes. He was extremely passionate in that moment. Um, Jackson Pollock is extremely expressive and, and flamboyant. 
And um, but depending on what colors you're going to be using, you know, if you're going to be using black and browns and dark colors, and the marks are rough and, and scratchy, then you can tell that that person was um, very, it had to have some kind of intent of, uh, or just frustration at the moment. Right. Whereas a beautiful piece of artwork have, uh, you know, comes through and the light comes through. And so art is really very expressive and, and some people are attracted to it and some people are not and it really depends on their, their, their feeling about the work and right. how it interacts with them. So if you didn't have this in to you know, is express yourself in other creative ways and also to supplement your income, would you ever think of giving up art for a job where you could actually make a lot of money consistently, salary where you know it's constantly going to come in, you don't have to worry about selling a piece, it's always, the money is always going to be there because you have a consistent job? Um. I um, have done art-related jobs. I've been a mold maker and I've, be, I've been a designer. Um, so, but the the you know, so I'm always creative. Um, but um, depending on exactly what type of work that I really want to produce is um, is something more personal to me. And um, so, uh, to to to. To constantly create the work that I really enjoy, but I'm creative 100% of my life. It doesn't matter what I do. Right. Do you think artists, do, or basically what kind of jobs besides selling paintings or selling their artwork, what kind of other avenues can artists go, like you were saying, moldings and whatnot, what can they do that's still creative and not veer too far from being an artist? if they have to get another job to supplement selling their stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I believe that anyth anything that you utilize your right brain, you're utilizing your creativity. And everything utilizes your right brain. Uh, there are things that rare off into the, to the left brain, you know, engineer type, but an engineer still has to have creativity. And I think the most successful um, person, even in a, uh, a very uh, left brain dominated job, if they bring their creativity to to that job, they often are the most ex uh, the the most successful. Um, I know that um, in some of my past positions where I've utilized not only like my left brain training but also introduced my right brain training, which is my creativity. It's it, it's excelled me. I, I've you know I've overcome so many other people who weren't utilizing their their uh, their creativity. And um, so any, anything you can add that creative flair and allow it to um, exude into whatever you do. Uh, That's a great way of thinking of it because I think a lot of people don't think an engineer uses <laughs> that side. But there's no creativity in that job. But yeah. if you look at that every job, you have to use some kind of creative means in order to actually be successful at that job. Absolutely. And the more creative you are, especially in this environment, that then uh, you're going to be more successful uh, over and above your your competitors. So I think that I, I certainly found that way is constantly utilizing my creativity in any situation. Right. What do you recommend for people who may be starting out that may not know where to go or what to do, but they know they want to be an artist. They know that's what their passion is. I I, I just reiterate the fact that to find other artists. Um, hang out at um, um, local art stores, really support your local art stores. Where there are other artists, they post their, uh, their, their business cards, you, you can connect with them through email. There's uh, usually an online community and uh, that's how I met Monique and immediately connected with her and now we've created a very win-win situation where uh, her organization comes here and brings her friends and uh, the public into to the end, but at the same time, we support artists. So, well, thank great. you for joining me. Tell us what the website for the Inn on the Riverwalk is. It's innontheriverwalksa.com, N-I-N-N, on the Riverwalk, S-A for San Antonio.com. Okay. Thank you for joining me again. We'll also stay tuned because we're going to show some of Johanna's work.
at the break and we're also going to post the website for the artist group. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Just Cat.